All right, for this first OneNote tutorial, uh, we'll start off by making a clinic notebook using OneNote. We'll open up OneNote, and here we have the default personal notebook here on the left. Uh, you can see that I'm using Office 2010 for this tutorial. It's kind of nice because it gives you um, a little bit of help about how to use OneNote. I highly suggest reading this. Uh, giving you ideas about how you can incorporate some of these methods in terms of building your own clinic notebook. As you can see, it kind of points out some of the basics. I won't be going over those. I'm going to jump right in. So first of all, we can right click or go f on this area over here and go new notebook or we can go file new and we want to make a new notebook and we want to store it on my computer or the web. This is where you can choose options such as syncing your OneNote notebook to uh, your Windows Live account, uh, which is also, there's a OneNote app for uh, iPads and iPhones and possibly even the Windows phone. Um, or you can just short, store it on a network, which is helpful in an office setting or storing it on your own personal computer. Well, we're just gonna make one on our own personal computer at the time, so we're gonna hit my computer and we're going to call this notebook a physical medicine notebook and we can choose where we want to save it that seems okay there and we're going to hit create notebook and here you can see we've made our physical medicine notebook now the way one note works is it's just like a three ring binder um, where you put your papers into it with tabs so up, up at the top here you can see new section one we can create a new, another new section and so forth and then within each section we have a thing over here called pages so this first page we'll go test and you can see it changed it up here at the top and right here on the right side and we can rename our section by hitting right clicking on it and hitting rename and we'll title this one orthopedics we'll title this one manipulation and then we'll do this one here so we'll hit rename and we're going to say physical medicine or we'll just call it phys med conditions okay we can even do one here we'll call it hydrotherapy we could call one stretching and we could even say sports medicine okay so within this we could create a page titled knee if we wanted we could do a page called shoulder I'll hit the new page button and title this one elbow and you get the idea foot and there we go so now you can see so far what we've created is kind of a shell we've made a physical medicine notebook tabs called with various names on them and then within that we can make pages Now, I will show you another method that you can do, which is something I would suggest as you realize this is like a three-tiered system. So first we have a notebook, <clears throat> we have a tab, and then we have a page. Well, what if you want it deeper than that? Well, you can actually right-click up here and call New Section Group. This might be handy because then you could say, well, I want to call this one Orthopedics. And within that, I want to make a, <clears throat> a tab called knee and a tab called shoulder <clears throat> and a tab called elbow. <clears throat> this is nice because then I can go down the knee and make conditions on along each page. So I could say uh, patellar, patella tendonitis. I can hit new page and I can hit ACL tear. Mm. 
and I could do or I could do my orthopedic con um, testing for it. So I could do interior drawer sign. And let's go to